Wedding photographers, if your 2021 was anything like mine, there's only one word to describe it. Crazy. The reason 2021 was so crazy for all of us was obviously because of COVID and all of the rescheduled weddings from 2020 now carrying over to 2021 on top of what we already would have booked in 2021. And because of all of those rescheduled weddings in 2021, everything's being pushed back to 2022 and next year looks like it's going to be even busier. So with more weddings comes more editing and we all know how much time editing takes up. Obviously you have to call through the images, but then you also have to pour over every image and make sure that they're acceptable and up to your standards. You could hire someone, yeah, you could hire someone to, to edit your photos. Uh, there are services out there that will learn your style and you can send your photos away, get edited. Uh, that's great, it, it works. Um, I personally haven't done it, but I've heard success stories from people who I know personally who have done it. The downfall with that is that it takes time and it's more expensive than the solution that I'm gonna be talking about. And that solution is Imagine AI. If you haven't heard of Imagine AI yet, blame your friends because they're not looking out for you because this thing is literally a lifesaver. Not literally, but it saves you a lot of time. So it's literally a time saver. Anyway, Imagine AI is an artificial intelligence software designed to learn your editing style in Lightroom that will allow you to upload Lightroom catalogs and it'll send it back to you completely edited in the style that you've taught it. I will probably be making a video about this, but I wanna to jump to something a little bit more in depth inside of Imagine AI. The idea for this video was actually brought to my attention by Reese Beto. I'm looking at the Facebook, um, the Imagine AI Facebook community right now, which by the way, join it, it's amazing. Uh, Reese Beto, Reese Beto, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, he asked if anyone had fed, you know, 50 images from the same wedding into Imagine AI and gotten them back in each different editing style that Imagine AI provides to you. And those styles are called talents. So basically, he wanted someone to feed the same images through each talent to see what the differences were in multiple different situations throughout a wedding day. Steve Gerard, or Gerard, or Gerard, again, so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, and these are like such simple names too. I'm just not very good at pronouncing names. Uh, anyway, Steve said, in parentheses, idea for a YouTube video. And Steve is a phenomenal YouTuber himself. I've watched plenty of his videos, uh, so I'm sure he's gonna do a video that will blow my mind out of the water. But I just wanted to get something up here because I'm really, really impressed by this software. And I, I actually really wanna learn about it even more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload a bunch of photos from the same wedding, all with different lighting situations and see what the talents give back. And I'm gonna put them up on the screen side by side so that you can get an idea of what the talents can do for you. All right, so what I've done so far is load 36 photos, raw images into Lightroom. They're all from one wedding. Uh, they're mixed cameras, there's, um, my second shooter, who does shoot a uh, Fuji X-T2, I, while I shoot a Fuji X-T3. Um, so, I mean, it, it's not that big of a difference. But they are different camera bodies, two different shooting styles, um, and there's, a, you know, a difference in that he usually shoots auto white balance and I kind of dial mine in. Doesn't matter, whatever. Um, so you'll see, like, there's some detail photos that I put in here. There's some, like this one, which is definitely way too green. Um, there's some that I used uh, artificial light on, uh, others that I used natural light on, um, some that were a little off in color, some that were a little uh, underexposed purposely. This one clearly underexposed, uh, way contrasty. Um, this particular set is really interesting to me. I have uh, one kind of well lit, this one is pretty well lit, this one has a really blown out backlight. And this one is kind of mixed lighting. Um, they're a super fun couple. Um, but yeah, and then we have like this nice shot. We have this nice shot. I want to see how th those are handled. Uh, but anyway, so what I've done, like I said, is just created a Lightroom catalog for these 36 photos. Next thing I'm going to do is open up Imagine AI. And what I'm going to do is go to edit. If you've already been using Imagine AI, you know how it works. You don't have to watch this part of the video. I'm just pretty much gonna go through the process of uploading photos and editing them. Uh, so you can skip ahead to this time and just see the results. Before I even edit, I'm gonna make sure that Lightroom is closed because it doesn't like Lightroom to be open while it's editing. Close this out. Yes, I really wanna quit. I really, really wanna quit. Can't take it anymore. I 
Give up. Going cold turkey on Lightroom. It'll quit one day. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to open my recent catalog. I'm going to name it. Um, Imagine AI. Let's capitalize that. Imagine AI test. Uh, and we're going to go with uh, warm skin tones as our first one. The, the talents are warm skin tones, romantic pastel colors, boho range, body language, body language, black and white, simply sublime, timeless color, California dreaming, in case you can't read. Uh, so we'll start with warm skin tones. I'm going to select that folder. I'm going to say choose, and then I am going to send it to be edited. Now you can take a look up here. Wednesday, 1.21 p.m. I'm gonna hit send. It's gonna upload these images for me. I'll be back when it's done uploading. All right, you can see it's at 100%. Just finished. Okay, yeah, here you go. Finished uploading, you will receive an email shortly after your edit is ready for download. I'm gonna hit okay. It is 11.24. Oh, there it is. It's 11.32. Let's see how quick this is. So it took eight minutes to edit those files. And yeah, you could say um, eight minutes. I can do it faster than that. Maybe you can, but you know what else you can do at eight minutes? You can play a game of Blitz Chess. You can listen to your favorite song. You can scroll through Instagram. You can take a really quick power nap. So anyway, I just downloaded the files. I'm gonna open the Lightroom catalog and we'll see what the Warm Skin Tones talent profile has come up with for us. All right, so here we are. We've got our images back. Uh, I'm gonna open the develop module up so that you can see that they were edited. You can see the highlights and whites down here. The blacks are taken down a little bit. Exposure was bumped up. Custom white balance. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we've got. We've got a detail photo. Uh, it looks like it's kind of defaulting to a pretty even lighting. Um, even like this one down here is kind of, it looks like the shadows have been bumped up a little bit maybe. No, huh. but it, exposure was bumped up two stops. Um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I will run this catalog. I'm gonna reset it, run it through again with the next profile. I'm gonna run through all of the talent profiles that are available on Imagine AI right now. Today is December 8th, 2021. So if you're watching this in the future, there might be a million profiles. But right now, there's a few. I'm gonna test them all out. So as I've been running through all of these talent profiles, it's actually been speeding up. So I wanna show you just how fast this can happen. Um, so I'm gonna send these images again 36 images. I'm using the California dreaming profile. This is the last one um, Let's see 1239. I'm starting the upload We'll see when the upload stops and then we'll see when we receive our files back So 1239 we started Okay, took three minutes to send them in 1242 is when they were finished uploading. We'll see how long it takes for the download to be available now Oh, <laughs> they're done, 12.43. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and download, yep, California Dreaming, and I forgot to minimize Logic Pro in the background, so just disregard that. It's late, I'm tired. It's 2021. All right, we're gonna open the catalog, see what it come up with. I'm gonna export these photos, and then I'm gonna open the catalog again with all of the photos that have been edited in here so we can look at them all at once. All right, so I've got everything in Lightroom now. Um, you can see on the screen that we have seven, or I'm sorry, nine different versions. I don't know where I got seven from. Nine different versions of each photo. On the left are the raw photos, and then everything else is an Imagine AI talents profile. Let's just take a look. I guess let's pick a photo, a pretty generic one. Um, how about this guy here? All right, so we have bridesmaids and bride, okay? Um, these are exported at uh, a thousand pixels, so they might be a little bit pixelated, but it's neither here nor there for this video. Um, so with the black and white, the first thing that I notice is the heavy vignette. And I did check to see if it was just my mind playing tricks on me or if there was a vignette applied, and there is. Uh, I personally am not a big fan of vignetting, especially this heavily. Uh, some of you might be, and that's great. Um, but I don't know, let, let me know in the comments because um, I'm really interested to see what people think about this with the black and white conversion. The, the brilliant minds over at Imagine AI 
uh, they're really big into the community. So if, you know, if this isn't what the community wants, then I'm sure they'll change it. Um, but you know, if it is what the community wants, then I'm sure they would love to hear that positive feedback too. Next we have the BL. What is that? That is body language. I have a little cheat sheet here. Uh, body language color, um, a little bright, uh, nice colors, uh, not much else to say really. This one is, what do we have, BR Boho range. So this is uh, definitely more of that boho look. Uh, desaturated greens, a um, little red uh, in the skin tones. Um, overall, desaturated colors as well. Next we have CD, which is California Dreaming. Um, this is a little bit on the cooler side. The colors pop way more than boho. I don't know if they cop, uh, pop more than regular. Let me see, I'm gonna go back to the raw. Um, yeah, it's a little poppy. It's a little poppy on the colors. Uh, definitely cooler tone um, and more vibrant, I would say, probably. Um, this one is RPC, which that uh, that's romantic pastel colors. So um, definitely played with the black point on the tone curve. Um, definitely looks pastel for sure. Romantic. Cool. This one is SS, which would be simply sublime. Um, so far, I think this is probably the closest to the raw image. That's the raw. That's simply sublime. Um, looks like the shadows have been lifted a little bit. Maybe a little bit of that tone curve adjustment again to uh, lighten the black point a little bit. TC is timeless color. Um, way airy. Way airy for sure. Uh, so if you're a light and airy photographer, this might be right up your alley. Um, yeah, it, it just looks bright, um, bright colors, bright skin tones. The uh, color temperature is fine. WST, this is the last one, warm skin tones. Um, just trying to compare the skin tones. Yeah, I guess they do look warmer. They look uh, a little bit more red in the tint. Uh, let's see, compared to the raw. Yeah, uh, let me actually, you know what, let me do this for you. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it warmed up a little bit. So, as you can see, again, I've done all of these photos. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload these into a Google Drive folder. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so that you can open these all in your own Lightroom and just do these comparisons, do the back and forth, do whatever you need to do to figure out you know, which look is best for you. Or maybe you'll find out that you don't like any of them and you wanna just create your own profile. And that is something I really, really, really recommend you do because it has just, it's completely changed my life. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on how I work with Imagine AI and what it does with my photos. We'll compare them, uh, we'll do, uh, I'll maybe edit 10 of them and I'll have Imagine AI edit 10 of them and we'll see how close it comes uh, to what I would normally edit my photos like. But while we're here, let's just take a look um, and see like these special cases. So remember earlier on, I said that this one was underexposed. So let's see what, yeah. So it brightens it up. It definitely, you know, makes it uh, a more pleasing photo than this. You can see the histogram, it's all on the shadows there. Um, kind of brightened it up and brought those shadows up a little bit. Um, so it's smart. It's not just like applying a preset to everything. It's it's doing it intelligently and artificially. Here's one I was interested in, the night photo. I wanted to see how it handled this. Uh, so the black and white, I'm sorry, but this looks like it's like 2004 editing right now. Uh, really not my style, I'm so sorry. Uh, that looks cool. That's cool. I, I really do like the boho range. It's not my editing style, but I love that look. I don't know what it is. I, I just can't bring myself to commit to it. Um, yeah, so these are all passable images. Like these are things that I could see people delivering and, and I wouldn't bat an eye at it. Um, so imagine AI, imagine being able to upload an entire wedding and just sit back for a half hour while it does its thing and then going through these maybe taking an hour or two to just adjust slightly some of the edits that it comes back with it's i can't explain enough how amazing this technology is and how this software has changed my life and i just want to express my gratitude to everyone at imagine ai because this is just 
earth shattering. And I can't wait to see if this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see where it goes with the new, you know, masks in Lightroom, more local adjustments. Thing. It's, it's, I can't even wrap my head around it. Thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Like I said, I'm gonna have a link in the description with the edits in a Google Drive folder so you can examine them for yourself. I hope you get on board and join the Imagine AI community both on Facebook and just in your workflow. If you wanna sign up for Imagine AI, I'm gonna leave my referral code in the description. With that code, you get an extra 500 free edits on top of the thousand that you're gonna to get to begin with. So that's 1500 free photos completely edited in your style. This is really fun. It's, um, I've actually done this before, but I didn't record the whole process and I didn't think it would be informative enough to, you know, just throw the images on the screen. So I wanted to record the whole process and I was a little bit more intentional with the photos that I selected this time. So it was cool to see how it handled all the different situations, all the different lighting. Um, I just love this so much. I love it. And I know you will too, if you give it some time, if you have any questions, Feel free to drop them in the comments, um, or maybe even better yet, just join the Imagine AI Facebook community because there's a lot of brilliant minds in there and people who know a lot more than I do. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.